Super ships in ranked and co-op battles, changes to submarines, the arms races come back, and eye-pleasing visual improvements. Despite November's cold spell, World of Warships has lots of hot new stuff. Admit it, your favorite game is a great reason to warm up during these autumn days. In update 0.10.10, you'll get a chance to enter battle playing super ships. These ships certainly need a super commander at their helm. I'm sure you'll handle the role easily. Six super ships await you. Among them, you'll find Satsuma and Hanover, which you are probably familiar with from the Grand Battle, as well as four newcomers. Conde, Annapolis, Yamagiri and Zorki. Let's take a closer look at them. Condé is a French supercruiser carrying 12 240mm guns with dual-purpose anti-aircraft artillery that comprise her post-war period mounts. Annapolis is another cruiser, a true American, that represents a presumed development of the Des Moines-class heavy cruisers. Compared to her prototype, she has larger dimensions and enjoys increased firepower owing to an additional main battery turret. Soviet leader Zorki is a post-war project of an armored destroyer carrying dual-purpose armament. Last but not least, Yamagiri is a super destroyer with powerful torpedo armament and dual-purpose artillery. The Japanese ship carries three sextuple tube torpedo launchers. Just like the super ships that you already know, the newcomers have special game mechanics. Now we're going to tell you the most important things about them. Condé, Annapolis and Zorki will have an alternative firing mode. Here's how it works. Once you press the F key, each turret will automatically deliver several consecutive salvos in rapid succession. After that, the guns start reloading slowly. Yamagiri also has a peculiar feature. This destroyer can switch between two types of torpedoes that differ in damage, range and speed. Here you should also remember that each torpedo type will require additional time for reloading. Besides this, we've changed the functioning principles of combat instructions for Satsuma and Hanover. The adjustment fire bonus no longer triggers automatically. It is now activated by pressing the F key as well. From now on, while playing super battleships, it's up to you to decide whether to use the enhancement or keep it for later when it's better suited. You can obtain super ships for rent from random bundles in the armory. This way of obtaining the ships will help avoid queues for battle being filled with super ships only. You'll be able to see their full potential in co-op battles and the new season of ranked battles. The latter will be held in a 7 vs 7 format, playing tier 10 ships and super ships in all three leagues. Worthy rewards await you. There's another important piece of news. Soviet aircraft carriers are no longer in early access. Now everyone can research the new ships of this nation. Komsomolets, Serov, Pabida, and Admiral Nahimov are aircraft carriers that can surprise you. Their squadrons comprise a single flight that can carry out a strong attack with all aircraft at once. The aircraft of Pabida and Admiral Nahimov are equipped with jet boosters that provide an increase in speed at takeoff. Taking off from the deck is cool, of course. But we all know that the main appeal of an aircraft carrier is her striking power. Soviet ships have some surprises for you. While the speed of Soviet torpedoes is modest and arming distance is long, their range is quite decent for the type. Starting with Tier 6, attack aircraft are equipped with powerful rockets that are similar to well-known American Tiny Tims. What is more, all Soviet-built aircraft carriers are entirely equipped with skip bombers. I'd recommend you not waste your time, Captain, and hurry up to research the USSR's carriers. We've prepared one more event for you related to a Soviet ship. This ship is Novorossiysk. The new event will be dedicated to the period when this battleship served under the Soviet Navy flag. A week after the release of update 0.10.10, .10, a themed combat mission group will become available to you. Completing it will earn you the Soviet Tier 6 battleship Novorossiysk. Captain, I'm happy to announce that Arms Race returns in update 0.10.10 .10 as a temporary battle type. Yes, you got it right. 
This is the battle type with special areas that can be captured to enhance the characteristics of the ships on your team. In the new version of this battle type, we've added two new special zones. One of them will boost damage that your armament inflicts, and the other one will increase the current and maximum amount of HP for ships and squadrons. Besides this, we've implemented some other things to improve Arms Race. You can find all the details on our website. I'd like to add that Arms Race will involve Tier 9 and 10 ships in a 12 versus 12 format. Now to my favorite part, the beauty. Beauty on maps, beauty on water, and beauty underwater. Update 0.10.10 .10 introduces many graphic improvements to World of Warships, and we're going to tell you about them right now. We've completely reworked the simulation and display of water on all maps. The water's surface in the game is now more realistic. Expect waves of different shapes and heights, new wake trails, ship rolling, better sun reflections, and other optical effects that are sites worthy of your attention. Besides water, we've reworked vegetation on all maps. The trees and bushes will now be more detailed. But wait, that's not all. We're launching a massive evolution of our map's aesthetics. You can look forward to high-detail textures and new moving and static objects. The harbingers of these transformations are the Hotspot and Two Brothers maps, as well as the Philippines, St. Petersburg and Twitch ports. Yes, apart from that, there will be improvements to the underwater world as well. Vegetation, new objects, sun glare and effects of light. Exploring the depths of the sea in the game will now be even more interesting and exciting. Submarines have been fighting in random battles on par with other ship types for a whole update already. Thanks to your feedback, we've introduced a number of changes to make it even more interesting to play them, as well as against them. Let's cover the major changes. We've decided to divide torpedoes into two types. The effects of sonar pings will be different for each of the types. Let's start with homing torpedoes. They will have lower maneuverability, and the distance from which they will stop honing in on cruisers and destroyers is increased twofold. A successful hit with a sonar ping activates guidance towards an enemy ship. Another successful hit enhances guidance, but does not increase the damage the torpedoes inflict. The rest of the torpedo parameters remain unchanged. The second type is torpedoes with increased damage. The regular damage is higher than that of homing ones, and the effect of sonar pings reduces their visibility range by a quarter. Another hit with a ping increases the damage caused by torpedoes if they hit the enemy's torpedo protection. By the way, while the ping effect is active, torpedoes of this type can only home vertically. In other words, they can only ascend or descend depending on their target. Unlike the previous torpedo type, these torpedoes won't be able to home horizontally. Tier 6 submarines will only have homing torpedoes at their disposal. Both types will be available on Tier 8 and 10 submarines. Also, keep in mind that when switching between the torpedo types, you'll need some additional time for reloading. We've told you about similar mechanics recently when describing the torpedoes of Super Destroyer Yamagiri. In addition, we've applied a number of changes to the detectability and view range of submarines. You can find all details in the news article dedicated to update 0.10.10 .10 on our website. Do you like clan battles? Then the following news is for you. In update 0.10.10, .10, the 15th series of clan battles, codenamed Narwhal, will start with Tier 10 ships in a 7 vs 7 format. Aircraft carriers won't be allowed in this season. Neither team can have two identical ships. A maximum of two battleships per team is allowed. For details about the new season of clan battles, visit our official website. Information about other new features that Update 0.10.10 .10 brings will also be available on our website. By the way, we're starting to prepare for New Year's celebrations already. That's why snowflakes are back in the game. You can use them to get coal, steel, and New Year's certificates. These certificates can be exchanged for one of three types of Santa's gift containers in the next update. I'll tell you about it in a little while on this channel. See you, Captain.